Dude, I learned about the coolest thing in chemistry. Did you know that silicon is one of the most abundant elements in the Earth's crust? It's like everywhere, like in the sand, in silicates, in quartz. Interesting, but like, why should I care? What do you mean why you should care? Like, it's everywhere, like, in the phone you're using. The chip technology in there, it's made out of silicon. The eye contacts that I have right now, this one, they, they're made out of silicon. You know, you know, everything. Medical supplies, buildings, there's a lot of stuff. You should care. I guess I never um, really thought about all of those. Um, you know what? You know what's up? Oh, yes. Okay. <laughs> I needed to practice this anyway, so. I'm gonna tell you all about the magic behind this chemistry. I'm gonna go over there. No, 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 where are you going? Uh, yeah, it's time for me to nerd out. <laughs> I got you now. Elemental silicon was discovered in 1824 by Jans Jacob Roselius, and while the elemental form is exceedingly rare in nature, silicon oxides are abundant everywhere. The most common forms are silica or silicon dioxide and silicate. In fact, silicon makes up 27.7% of the Earth's crust, making the second most abundant element after oxygen. From quartz SiO2, we are able to make metallurgical grade silicon by reacting it with charcoal at high temperatures. This very pure silicon at about 98% is then used to make organosilicon products from chloromethane using the direct process Rochelle Muller at high temperature with the help of a copper catalyst. Major product of this process is dimethyl dichlorosilane with 83% yield and is used as basis for production of silicone. The mechanism of this process is yet to be found and at this point we are only certain of the importance of the copper catalyst. In synthesis of silicone, dimethyl dichlorosilane reacts with water in a hydrolysis reaction to produce hydrogen chloride and dimethyl dihydroxylsilane. This product is then dehydrated to produce a mix of linear and cyclic oligomers of silicone. Cyclic product of this reaction is then linearized into a chain of silicone by anionic ring opening polymerization using a catalyst. This reaction is shown below and the catalysts that can be included in this reaction are molecules such as sodium hydroxide, potassium hydroxide, and sodium bicarbonate. Since Rochelle Miller only results in short linear molecules and cyclic molecules of silicone, these linear silicone molecules are then developed into longer chains by condensation and the cyclic molecules are grown into long chains by polymerization. These chains of molecules can then be used to make more rigid complexes such as cross-linked silicone via a process of vulcanization at room temperature. But let's not get carried away and stick with the easier molecules. Properties such as thermal and oxidative stability, resistance to high and low temperatures, hydrophobicity, inertness, and permeability are some of the useful properties of silicones and so make these compounds perfect for uses in our everyday lives. We use silicones and silicones in cosmetics, in construction, health-related areas, etc. Some of these byproducts are contact lenses, internal body parts, and computer chips. We also use silicon compounds inside beauty products such as lotions, conditioners, and creams. As you can see, silicon is a large part of the U.S. and world economy. In 2016, the U.S. consumed over 600,000 tons of silicon and were also a major producer along with China, Russia, and Brazil. The total world production that year was 7.2 million tons. The silicon was used to produce steel, cast irons, and super alloys along with the highly refined silicon as semiconductors for use in electronics. Hey, so yeah, I was saying, as I was saying, it's everywhere. Hey, are you still with me? Yeah, yeah. I just I had the weirdest dream about silicon. <laughs> <laughs> I must be doing something right. I mean, I told you all about them. I guess. I mean, some of the stuff was pretty cool. Mm. I'm happy. Happy that we did this.